The Hunger Games cleverly foreshadowed who Katniss Everdeen would end up with from the very beginning. As the Hunger Games books and movies were released, there was significant debate about whether Katniss would ultimately end up with Gail Hawthorne, her hunting partner and close friend, or Peta Mellark, who became her fellow District 12 tribute during the 74th and 75th Hunger Games. This love triangle proved to be one of the many elements that garnered widespread interest in the dystopian series. Even though Katniss knew Gale longer and shared a personal bond that preceded the Hunger Games, there were many indications that she would be with Peta in the end. A significant indication is in the first book, as Katniss spends much of the story with Peta in the capital and in the arena. This traumatic experience connects them in a way that is not possible with Gale, who is not present for most of the story after Katniss departs from District 12. Before Katniss leaves, there is an earlier and more subtle indication of the series' romantic endgame. The Hunger Games' very first chapter hints that Katniss will end up with Peta. Gale is the one to foreshadow it. When Katniss meets Gale in the woods during the Hunger Games' first chapter, Gale holds up a loaf of bread with an arrow pierced through it. He jokes about the bread being something he hunted before sharing it with Katniss. This moment initially seems to just show the close rapport between Katniss and Gale, but it actually foreshadows Katniss and Peta ending up together, as bread comes to symbolize Peta and arrows come to symbolize Katniss. Peta is a baker's son and is often referred to as the boy with bread throughout the series because, years earlier, he intentionally discarded burnt loaves for Katniss so she could feed herself and her family when they were starving and could not afford food. Even though he and Katniss do not truly get to know each other until later in the story, the bread incident creates a powerful bond between them and is a reminder of Peta's true character. The bakery also gives him the physical strength and camouflage skills that prove useful during the Hunger Games. As for Katniss, she was known for her unparalleled archery before and during the Hunger Games, and throughout the later war against the capital. The arrow in the loaf, therefore, is meant to serve as a symbolic foreshadowing that Katniss and Peta are meant to be together. This foreshadowing is made more ironic by the fact that Gale is the character who presents it, making the moment more tragic in retrospect for those who hoped he would end up with Katniss. The Hunger Games beginning perfectly mirrors the ending of Mockingjay. Katniss and Peta's stories end by embodying their symbols. A composite image showing Peta in the Hunger Games and an older Katniss holding her baby. Peta being the boy with the bread is not forgotten by the end of the series. In Mockingjay's final chapter before the epilogue, Katniss explains how she and Peta learn to cope with the many traumas they have endured by staying busy, with Peta primarily baking and Katniss primarily hunting, returning to their strengths and the original symbols that define them. It is during this time that Peta proves to be the ideal partner for Katniss, as he is there to support and comfort her through her traumatic memories. The Hunger Games begins with an arrow and a loaf of bread joined together, and ends with the boy with the bread and the archer in a romantic relationship that works well. The series comes full circle as both Katniss and Peta return to their roots and finally get to explore who they are in a world that is not governed by the capital and the yearly threat of the Hunger Games. The foreshadowing and its ultimate payoff are among the many details that continue to make the Hunger Games series rewarding to reread.